What's up guys? Today we are in Miami. Usually it's very sunny and beautiful, but today it's been raining all day, but it's okay because we're going to the gym and I'm going to show you a few exercises for those who travel or for those who don't have a big facility or gym. So we will be working with dumbbells today. So follow me, I will show you how to do it. As you can see, I always have a magic shaker and I never work out without my cocktail. So I have glycofuse here from Gaspari, obviously. I have two scoops of glutamine and I have a scoop of amino acids. And what it helps, it helps, it helps you to keep the glycogen in your muscles. So when you work out, you feel like a superhuman and you don't get tired. So let's go, I'll show you what we're going to do today. So this is my little gym. I don't go here often because I love big gyms, bodybuilder style, and I just love energy. But when I travel or when I have a lot of work to do, it's better little gym with dumbbells that, that no gym. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. Let's go with me. Here you are. I'm gonna start with 20 pounds dumbbells simply because it's our first exercise and we don't wanna jump in heavy weights without warming up our body. It's very important. You wanna feel the pump, you wanna feel how the muscle works. So 20 is a good number. Usually I do a lot of pull-ups, but there is no pull-up stand. So basically what you wanna do, you wanna arch your back when you perform this exercise. You want to stretch the weight to um, maximum you can. You bring the weight up. You really squeeze your back. You don't go too far away because you're taking pressure from your back. So you keep it right here and you squeeze it as hard as you can. Second exercise will be lying bench row. It's not very common, but I really like it. It's gonna work your middle back and also lower back. So basically, what we do here, we lay down flat. You can go up and arch your back a little bit, so it gives it puts more pressure on your lower back, which is nice because you're working out with your group of muscles. And from here, you just squeeze. You back in the middle to make it harder you can keep it for a few seconds there I'll do 20 reps and I'm gonna go to 30 40 45 and 50 and I'll finish with 50 and I'll try to do 25 30 reps let's go exercise is bench dumbbell pullover so there is there are two ways to do that exercise my favorite laying down on the bench some people prefer to be in this position and go down I don't really like it I feel more stable and I feel this exercise better laying down like this so always make sure that your head is on the edge of the bench it's not going too way forward or too much here. Just make sure it's the same. It's on the same level. Taking them well down. Hold on. These things are all over me. I'm gonna take them off. They are on the knees. So 
you want to keep your elbows a little bit bent, you want to bring the dumbbell all the way down. Then when you go up, you don't bring it all the way to your chest because this, this is the chest exercise. You bring it a little bit like where your head is right here. So you always keep the tension on your legs. So stretching all the way down, bring it to your eye level. Keeping all the tension on your legs. And breathing. And I think I'm gonna have like 30. So I don't want to go too heavy on this exercise because you can hurt your shoulders. You can go down and move your shoulders because it's too heavy. So we're gonna keep it maybe till 40, maybe 35, maybe till and I'm gonna do mm, probably 20, 25 reps. Let's go. So fast. This is my last one. It's 40. I'm gonna do 20 repetitions. Let's go. So our fourth exercise will be dumbbell bent over roll, elbows out. Because I feel like all three exercises we have been doing, the we concentrated more on the rear uh, back and thickness. So right now we will do more for legs. And then our last exercise will be Superman for lower back. So basically, you want to lay down in the plane. Keep your arms palm uh, in front of you. And from here, you go up and you really squeeze your legs. And I'm going to do 20 reps for each step. So we have our last set, 40 pound dumbbells, and we're going to do 20, 25, see how I feel. I'm getting tired already a little bit, so let's go. Yeah, make sure that your chest is not too out. You want to keep your chest on the bench and get very comfortable when the weights are heavier. You want to make sure that your your um, your form is safe and you're not going to hurt your back. So right here. So we survived four exercises so far. Now we have the last one. And it's going to be Superman. I'm going to perform it on the bench. Um, it's very important to work on your lower back because you will do squats, you will do big compound movements. The pressure and uh, the strength of your back is very important, especially your lower back, because you don't want to hurt it. So basically, I'm gonna lay laying down on the bench right here, and I'm gonna do five sets, 20 reps each. So from here, I'm going up, and we're squeezing our lower back as hard as we can, and keep it for five seconds. Go down. That's one rep. Two. Three. And it's already on fire. Five. So we just did back workout with dumbbells. I hope you guys liked it because my lower back is on fire. Those Superman, they kick in my ass. So it's very important after you work out to eat, to feed your muscles and um, do it during 30 minutes after you work out, no longer because you will be starving and usually when you're starving, you're making wrong choices, which we don't want to do. So let's go, I'm going to eat right now. I'll probably have a protein shake and uh, glycopeps again. But in 30 minutes, I'll do a full meal, maybe steak or I don't want chicken, I'll do steak. Big, nice steak with potatoes or rice. So thank you for watching my workout. Subscribe, uh, ask me any questions. Maybe you want me to show you something. Maybe you want 
to talk about something. Leave a comment below and see you in the next one.